Hey everyone, this is Andreas Nest here, Business Coach. We spoke in the last few weeks a lot about spin and I've got a few uh, comebacks and a few comments saying, well, it's a lot of information that we need to take in. You know, we understand the S, the P and the I in the end, but how do we all put it all together? How does it all work together? Well, the easiest way to look at it is that a common mistake that a lot of salespeople make is that they plan the call in terms of what they want to say to the prospect. But what they should really do is plan to what they want to ask the prospect. And therein lies the, the whole solution. So I would recommend that you start very simple and really concentrate, first of all, on the investigating stage. Okay, Just ask questions about the situation, find out things about the company, things that are important, and just concentrate on that. Leave the more kind of difficult implications in either pay persons to a later stage until you have you know, master the first stage and until you feel really comfortable with asking lots of questions, um, just leave that a little bit behind, okay? Then the next thing I would recommend is maybe develop questions in the spin sequence. So you start off with situation questions and you put your own set of questions together, which you then follow by problem questions. There comes then the implication questions and finally you start with the need payoff questions. So you have a spin sequence of questions that you ask, okay? And the next thing I would recommend to you is that you analyze your products or your services in terms of how do they fit um, from a problem-solving perspective if I go and speak to a prospect. So how can my product or my services be aligned with whatever problem I analyzed during the sales call? Okay, that's very important to look at. That. And then I would also do a, a proper planning and, and reviewing of the, of the actual spin sequence. So plan your call. And remember, plan the questions, not what you have to say to the client or the prospect. Then do it. And then finally, take some time out to actually review what has happened during the call. A lot of salespeople plan a little bit of the call, they get through it, and then they come out and they don't do the sale. So there's not much learning in that. The learning really comes from analyzing what happened during the sales call. What did I do? What questions did I ask? How did it go? What didn't I do? And why didn't I get the sale? So really review the call that you've made in terms of what you can do better next time and then implement whatever you want to change next time and try it again. Test and measure. That's the key. So that's it from this week for me. So I hope you have a great week and I will speak to you next week. Bye bye.